Hey everyone and welcome to Find Your Flow. I am Natalie and today I'll be guiding you through a short practice to send lots of love to the lower body. We're gonna stretch out the legs, so this is great if you've done a workout or they're just feeling a little tired, hop onto your mat and I'll meet you there. Righty-ho. We will start our practice towards the front of our mat, making our way into a forward fold. If you don't have a mat, maybe you're doing this at the gym, no worries. Wherever you are, just step the feet to hips distance apart, ground down through all four sides, wiggle the toes, and then take hold of the opposite elbow with the opposite hand. And just allow the head, neck, and shoulders to be soft here, crown of the head shining down towards the ground as we swing like a heavy pendulum from side to side. And be sure to keep this real kindness Spreading towards the backs of the legs as we bend the knees. So really mindful here that we're not locking into our knee joint at any point. Just keep it soft. Bend them a little more if you would like to. And then float back to center. Just release the arms. They don't need to touch the ground. We'll just pedal through the knees. Awesome, and then planting the palms, walking the feet a little bit closer so we've got space. We'll step both feet back into a downward facing dog, sending the tailbone high and just wiggle it out, pedal it out. Notice how you feel. Might be your first time doing down dog in a long time. If you are doing this post-workout, then maybe this feels really good. Just remember to stick with the breath here. Inhale through the nose, exhale through the nose. Really think about tilting pelvis up towards the skies, the knees bend softly so we can really add a little more length to the spine. Find one more breath here. And then float that left leg off the mat, three-legged dog, bend the knee. Hug it up and in toward the nose, really round up through the spine and then step through. We'll bring our back knee to the ground, untuck the back toes and just rise out of the front leg in our low lunge. Just connecting to the ground, really finding this engagement in the legs, opening through this right hip flexor. And then floating fingertips down to the ground, either side of the front foot, we can lift onto bricks here if we'd like to, as we rock our hips back, lengthen that left leg, flex the toes towards the face. And we'll do this a couple more times. Just rocking forwards and back, really mindful that we aren't completely collapsing and rounding through in the spine. Then the next time you come forward, stay there. Turn the left toes out to around 10 o'clock. Bring both hands to center. Walk our right knee back just a hair so we're not on that uncomfortable part of the knee. And we can lift higher here or we can come lower here. Just find your own version of lizard pose where we can stay for a couple of breaths. But rather than just hanging and sinking into lizard, I really invite you to keep active here. Perhaps find a very soft swaying maybe a mini circling, anything at all, just to keep a little bit of movement. Awesome, float back to center and we'll take our left hand up to the left knee, very gently pressing that leg away. So we come to the out to edge of that left foot and just breathing here. Where we feel this opening the most might have changed now, so just being aware of that, sticking with the breath. and then float back to center. Awesome. Frame the front foot, tuck the back toes, lift the knee, step it up to downward facing dog, pedal it out, have a little wiggle. Take this time to come back to your breath and then float that right leg off the mat, bend the knee, step it forwards, hug it up toward the nose first and then to the ground. Back knee flattens to the earth, we'll rise out of our front leg, hands come to the hips, just connecting to this lunge position in our lower body, keeping tall through each side of the torso, and then hands come down either to our bricks or the ground as we start to lengthen that right leg and float toes up towards the face. And we're not looking to sit all the way back here, hips to the heels, more like keeping this left hip over our left knee roughly as we come back. So just moving here in your own time. Mindful that as we come back, we aren't locking into that knee joint. Next time you come forward, stay there and turn the right toes to around two o'clock. 
both hands come to the center just walk that left knee back a little and find your version of a lizard pose and again even if we have the space try not to just collapse down and stay here keeping this conscious mini movement in your lizard however that feels good to you maybe that rocking maybe a swinging a circling whatever takes your fancy awesome then lifting that right hand up we'll press the knee away lightly come to rock onto the outer edge of that right foot nice and float back to center frame in front foot tuck the back toes lift up and back downward dog we'll be here for one full breath in and out release the knees to the earth awesome and we're gonna send our left leg out long and we'll keep our right leg hugging up and back come to a one-legged reclined hero position so just being mindful here if we do have lots of fussiness in the knees we might need to walk that foot out a little bit more hug it in a bit more listen to whatever works for you this um, release here is mainly for the fronts of the legs, for the thighs. We'll feel it in other places as well, but just being aware that this is the area that we'll particularly target. So keeping that left leg out, we'll just bring our hands to the ground behind us. And this might be where we want to stay, very much here, feeling into whatever's going on in the body. Well, perhaps we start to walk down to the forearms, maybe towards the ground and if we're here and we're still not really feeling much just find a slight tilt in the pelvis upwards so that we're not collapsing and rounding in the lower back but we're actively pressing the pelvis slightly up towards the sky to just elongate even more through the front of this right leg and we'll stay here for a couple more breaths and then wherever you are just slowly start to walk the hands all the way up. Release that right leg, just give it a gentle wiggle. And then bringing the right foot to the inside of the left thigh. So taking attention now more to our left leg, although there's still something going on here in the right with this hip opening. We will flex our left toes up towards our face, hands either side, and just thinking about this length in our spine as we hinge from our hips and perhaps crawl the hands a little further forwards. Try and resist holding on to the foot or leg and just pulling yourself down. Keeping this soft, being really honest with the range of motion that we have here. Breathing. And then releasing, lifting up, nice. Sending the right leg out long, we'll find our one-legged reclined hero on the other side. So bending that left foot back. Just making sure you're in a comfortable position to begin with and then maybe you release a little more. But remember, as you release, it doesn't make the posture any better or any worse than any other version of the posture. It's just whatever is working for you right now. So listening to your body. If we are all the way down on the ground, then keep that pelvis slightly tilting so we're not arching, collapsing in the lower back. I'm just finding a couple more breaths here. Being very open to how one side might feel, different to the other. And then nice and slow, start to rise up. Just give that left leg a little shake out in front. And then bring the foot to the inside of the right thigh. Attention shifts more to the right leg now. Toes flex towards the face, lengthen up tall and hinge from the hips, folding over that front leg. Just be mindful that we're not clenching our jaw or the muscles in our face. We'll send those signals to the brain that we're in panic mode and it won't allow our muscles to soften the same. So we want to keep our attention on our exhale and really keep the breath cool and calm and collected. Awesome. Rise, lift all the way up. And bring both feet down to the ground. Fingertips reach forward as we slow our roll. Come to the earth. Use your hands at any point if you want to here to help you soften. And then keeping the left foot planted, we'll cross the right ankle over the top of the left thigh. And we can stay here if we'd like to. 
or interlace the hands around the left hamstring and lift that left shin parallel to the sky, keeping both feet active so we're not collapsing into the ankle joint. And last option here is interlacing hands onto the left shin. So again, don't worry if you can't get to this version of your posture. We're just looking to be wherever works for us today. Most important thing is that we can still keep that soft breath, the real intentional inhales and exhales through the nose. On your next exhale, release. Take a moment just to hug both knees up and in towards you, rocking side to side. As we float to center, plant the right foot and bring the left ankle over the top of the right thigh. Same thing here, either staying where we are, interlacing the hands around the hammy or onto the shin. Mindful here that the head, neck and shoulders and the glutes aren't curling off the mat. We're looking to keep this nice and soft. Opening here very much through the piriformis, the glutes are getting some love, of course the hips. Keeping the face soft, be here for one more breath. Awesome, and then release. Walk the feet nice and wide towards the edges of the mat and roll both knees over towards the left side and then moving like windscreen wipers of a car, lift them up through center and over to the right. We'll just do this a couple more times to each side. This is also a really great warm up if you are uh, doing legs in the gym or anything like that. An active warm up just to get some movement going down here. When you're ready, come back to center. Last active posture, bringing the soles of the feet together, opening the knees out wide in our reclined bound angle pose. Now, if you are at home and you might want to stay here a little longer, then you can bring some props underneath the outsides of the legs if you'd like just to soften wherever we are. Mindful that we aren't collapsing and arching the lower back. So just tilting pelvis slightly up so it lower back can soften towards the ground. And I invite you here just to bring hands onto the belly. And if you're in a space where you feel comfortable to do so, close down the eyes. Feel the belly rise as you inhale, soften as you exhale. One more loving breath in, loving breath out. Use the hands either side of the knees to bring them back up together. Palms together at the heart. I thank you so much for joining me. Sending all my love to you. Namaste.